Good Sunday morning. I pray your day has already and will continue to be one of great expectation. Hallelujah. Praise God. We want to welcome you into the live stream uh, virtual sanctuary for Berean Family Worship Center. Mm -hmm. I'm Dr. Joyce and Pernell Henderson. And I'm Pastor Walter Henderson III. And we are just absolutely delighted this morning to have you or this evening or tonight or whenever you're seeing this uh, live stream uh, that you uh, welcome you into this live stream sanctuary. Mm -hmm. We pray right now for you and we are asking also that you begin to pray for us mm -hmm. as we come together. Uh, to sit in the presence of a true and a living God, to break the word of life. That is the only thing. Come on, somebody say only thing. Only thing. That will be able Praise to save God. a sin-sick world, our souls, Amen. and deliver us and bring us to a place of restoration and wholeness. Praise Amen. God. Amen. I'm going to go right into the word uh, that I'm going to be praying. And uh, get your Bibles. Get your a comfortable seat. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's uh, get in the presence of a true and a living God. Praise Isaiah God. 40. Isaiah 40. I've been singing this all this past week, so now I guess I'm going to pray it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, uh, part of it. I'm going to challenge you to go and read the entire Isaiah 40, but for time's sake, I'm going to read the first eight verses and then the last verse, verse 31. Mm -hmm. Amen. Again, Isaiah 40, 1 through 8. And I'm reading it out of the Amplified Version. Comfort, O oh, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem, to Berean, to the house of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And call out to her that her time of compulsory service in warfare is finished. Thank you, Lord. That her wickedness has been taken away. Since her punishment is sufficient, that she has received from the Lord's hand double punishment for all her sins. We're talking to the church. Mm -hmm. Avoid the one is calling out. Clear the way for the Lord in the wilderness. Remove the obstacles. Make straight and smooth in the desert a highway for our God. Yes. Every valley <laughs> shall be raised mm -hmm. and every mountain and he'll be made low. And let the rough ground become a plain, and the rugged places a broad valley. And the glory and majesty and splendor of the Lord will be revealed. And all humanity shall see it together. Mm -hmm. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Praise glory God. to God. A voice says, call out, prophesy. I say, prophets, rise up. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Then he answered, what shall I call out? Mm -hmm. What should I prophesy? The voice answered, all humanity is as frail as grass, and all that makes it attractive, its charm, its loveliness, is momentary, mm -hmm. like the flowers of the field. Mm -hmm. The grass withers, the flower fades. When the breath of the Lord blows upon it, most certainly all the people are like grass. The grass withers, the flowers flame, but the word of our God stands forever. Amen. Amen. And, and I uh, will just quote that latter part, uh, that verse 31. Uh, he says that he will cause us to mount our wings uh, like an eagle. He will cause us to run and not get, get weary. And to walk and not faint. Mm. Oh God, teach us how to wait upon Praise you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, we just thank you thank right you, now. Lord. Thank you, Father. For every one of your promises to the, mm -hmm. to the saint of God, to the thank church, you. Thank is you. yes and amen. Mm -hmm. And Father, we thank you that we can say amen to your word. Today. Hallelujah. Amen. That it Praise looks like, God. Father, that things are surrounding us. Mm -hmm. It looks like that they have won. Mm -hmm. But God, we know that your right arm has gotten us victory. Thank you, Father. We know that, Praise Lord God, God, that if we stand in you, mm -hmm. if we stay in you, Hallelujah. if we stand on you forever, your word will stand forever. Praise your God. word and you are one. Mm -hmm. So we stand on your word today. We do, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise we won't you. bow down or back off of your word, mm -hmm. no matter what it looks like, Praise no matter God. what Hallelujah. it feels like no matter what Thank circumstances you. may come mm -hmm. we even decree and declare right now mm -hmm. that we send forth your word 
And we say that your word is a sharp word. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Your word is a soothing word. Praise your God. word is a correcting word. Yeah. Your word is a healing word. Mm -hmm. Your word is a balm that still in Gilead. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Praise and so we send forth your word. Thank you, and Lord. Father, when we send forth your word, we say even now we receive your word. And we walk out what the word of God has to say. Mm. Because we have read in your word that your word is the only thing. That will stand forever. Heaven and earth will pass away. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. But your word. Praise Somebody God. say your word. Your word Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. We thank you for thank your you word God. today. Thank your you, word God. is true. Hallelujah. You Praise don't have to God. go back on it. You are not like a man. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And you are not like the son of man. That you would have to repent on what you said. If you said it in Genesis. Hallelujah. You will also perform it in Revelation. Yes. Glory to God. Glory if to you God. said it in, in Isaiah, mm -hmm. you will also perform it in Revelation. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So we thank you for thank your word you today. Thank we thank you that we trust in your word. Mm -hmm. Your word is a lamp unto our feet. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise you God. are a light unto our pathway. Hallelujah. And we are calling upon the lamp light today mm -hmm. to light us up. To do the work of the kingdom. Praise to do God. the work that you called us to do. Hallelujah. To do the work that you predestined for us to do. God. To walk as being light in a dark world. Praise Hallelujah. God. We are light in darkness today. Mm -hmm. And we Thank do you, declare Lord. that right now. Thank you, Lord. That, Father, that wherever we go, mm -hmm. we light it up. Praise Hallelujah. God. With the word of God. Hallelujah. And with the grace and the mercy of your word. Mm -hmm. And we say thank you today thank you, for who you are. Mm -hmm. Thank you for whom we belong to. Thank you, and Father. we say that the earth will be filled Hallelujah. with the knowledge and the glory of the Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Mm -hmm. As the waters cover the earth, mm -hmm. your word will cover the earth, Lord God. God. So we thank you thank and you, we Father. give you praise. Give you we praise. thank you and we give you glory. We do, now we Lord. say thank you. Sanctify your word. Mm -hmm. Saturate it with your anointing. Glory that God, God, that our ears will hear what you have to say to us, the church. You, Hallelujah. Praise and we God. won't be only a hearer of your word, but we will go forth right now to be a doer of your word. And we say thank you. I say anoint the man of God mm -hmm. as he preached. Mm -hmm. Preach none of him, mm -hmm. but all of you. Mm -hmm. And that Father, he will preach under the unction. Of the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. and we are your servants, Praise and we're God. sitting here now. Mm -hmm. What it is that you would say for Glory us to do? To God. And we thank you that thank we receive you. the engrafted word yes, of God, God that is able to save our souls. Hallelujah. Thank you in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. It's on you, Pastor. All right. Praise God. Glory to God. Preach. Good morning, and uh, again, glad to be with you. Yes, we are. Thank you so much for taking time to come and uh, share this time with us, and praise Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. We know that we're family, praise God, and we know that we're here to share the word of life, and so mm -hmm. I ask you to continue to be praying right now, praise God, concerning this. I want to begin to share something that has really been on my heart, and uh, I'm going to begin to do a series, and the title series is A Great Salvation. We I want to talk about the salvation. I want us to take another look at it. Praise God. I know that we're born again. I know that we are saved. But uh, there's an expectation that the Father has. And he has put that on my heart, I believe, to share that with you and what his expectations are so that we can understand. And not only that, begin to receive what has happened with this great salvation. Yes, thank you, so Lord. if you want to get your Bibles to the book of Hebrews, the second chapter, we're going to begin there at verse 1, reading through verse 4, Hebrews, the second chapter, beginning there at uh, chapter 2, and beginning there at verse 1. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank Hallelujah. you, Lord God. God is so good to us, and I want to bless him for it. Praise <laughs> God. Hebrews 2, beginning at verse 1. If you're there, I want to begin reading King James. Yeah. Therefore, we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard. Come on. Lest at any time we should let them slip. Glory. For if the word spoken by angels was steadfast, and every transgression and disobedience received a just Come on here. recompense Come on. of reward, <laughs> how shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation? which at first began to be spoken by the Lord and was confirmed unto us by them that heard it. One more verse, verse 4. 
God also bearing them witness, mm. both with signs and wonders, and with divers miracles and gifts of the Holy Ghost, according to <laughs> his own will. Praise God. Now, that would be our series text for the series. I don't know how long the series is going to go. I, I'm confident that the Lord told me that I need to do a series, so I'm expecting that each time he'll give me what yes. I need to be sharing. Praise God. And um, so let's talk about, first of all, the great salvation. And on this part one, today I want to talk to you about don't limit your salvation. Really? Don't limit your salvation. That's good. So let's look and, and at the series text, and we'll address that now, and then we'll get into the text what we have for don't limit your salvation. First of all, in verse uh, uh, chapter 2, 1 through 4, we must secure the truth of the gospel. Look at this now within our hearts. This from the heart, faith where faith is coming, mm -hmm. and not from our head. That's right. And if Satan can hold you and I both in our head, mm -hmm. in our intellect, in our knowledge, he will defeat us every time. But if we can hold him in faith, we will defeat him every time. And so what God has done in salvation, I want to show you, is so great, is so marvelous, and Satan is so defeated yes, come on here. that the only way he can really uh, begin to work on you and I is to hold us into the intellect, is yes, to, again, to keep us from really understanding what God has done in salvation. So he will make us think that God is holding on us <laughs> like he did Adam and Eve. So we're going to need to, uh, Paul said this, you need to be able to take heed to this gospel and understand what has already been expressed about it so you can hold it in your heart. So we'll begin to just open this up this morning, just give an introduction to it. So we must take heed to the things that we have heard. Verse mm -hmm. 1 said, heed means to hold to the mind, to be cautious about, to apply oneself to, or to adhere to. We have to do that when we go to our different jobs or vocations or whatever we have. We have to remind ourselves, when I'm at home, that's one logic of thinking. <laughs> but when I get to the job, that's a different, pray God. I got to put on yeah, a different hat. Yeah. I got to hold to what I'm there to do, yeah, praise God. What worked at my house won't work at my job because it's a different position. And so I have to remind myself that here's what I'm here, the position that I hold, and here's what I'm here to do, <laughs> praise God. Amen. I can't get to the church as pastor then begin to treat the people there like they're my children. Praise oh, yeah. God. Come that, on. That's not it. We're sisters and brothers. Amen. My position and what God called me to do is different from what God called them to do. But we are all equal and we're all saints together. All right. So praise God. And this way we so we have to hold to what God has called us to do as believers. And this has to affect everything I do as a father, as a husband, as, as a pastor, whatever the position I have, that must be the priority first in my life mm -hmm. is what God has called me to yes, do. Thank you, so Lord. he said, take heed to this now. And and that is the hold to your mind. Be cautious to apply this to yourself. Adhere to it. Otherwise, they will slip away. Oui. First Timothy 1 Timothy 1.19 said, Holding faith and a good conscience, mm -hmm. which some having put away concerning faith, have made shipwreck. Oui. Because we didn't hold to what God has said about us in our salvation, who we are in salvation. And so we didn't hold that in our hearts and in our mind. And what has happened to our life is become shipwreck. So I want you to understand that we're blaming sometimes God for things and God said, no, 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 no. See, you didn't hold to your mind what I said you yes. are, who I said you are. And by faith, hold to that and believe that which would have guided your walk, guided your conversation, guided everything you did, and it would kept you away. But Satan wants to hold you over into the natural, into your intellect, because he cannot defeat you in when you're in faith. Praise God. And so that's what happened. We become shipwreck. We blame God for it. <laughs> All right. Now, under the law of Moses, verse two, every transgression and disobedience had consequences. Yeah. Even though you and I are righteous in God, we're still choosing with the decision we make in life. Mm. Again, Moses said, I've set before you life and death. Therefore, yeah, do what? Choose. <laughs> choose life. Choose life. Now, see, every decision has a destination. And even though I'm born again, I can't continue to make wrong decisions. Right. I have to make decisions 
of, of righteousness, make decisions guided against God's word so I can get the benefits of it. Mm -hmm. So he's trying to remind us that even though we're not under the law of God, we still need to walk in righteousness, walk in love yes. in order to get the blessing, the benefit. And when we choose not to do that, Satan said, hey, you made the choices for me. Now mm -hmm. I have a right to operate yeah. and do things yeah, in yeah, your life. Yeah. All right. So if the father dealt with every transgression and disobedience that was spoken by angels, will he do less for that spoken by his son? My, so my, my. There, there is a comparison he's making here concerning the law. He said now, and so Paul said, listen, under the law, which was get and administrated by angels. I don't know if we re remember that or know that. Praise God. When the law was given, it was administrated by angels to Moses. And, and so it's very important. He said, now, listen. If God gave the law to Moses and it was administrated by angels, angels got that law to him and God held them accountable for every decision, every uh, disobedience, every uh, uh, thing that they did wrong, then will he do less that now this new under the law has come to us by his yeah, son? Yeah. Praise God. If he was holding strict, steadfast, the King James said, to that which was done by angels, how much more now my, my, my. that he's holding us accountable for what his son has said yeah. and declared? Yeah. Praise God. So now that's going to be very important for us. Now, how shall we escape, verse 3 and 4 here, if we neglect, that means to be careless, to make light of so great a salvation. Mm -hmm. God said, I need you to understand not only what the, the, the salvation costs with my son, death and all that, but it's a great salvation. Yes, it is. Lord and God. so if you're going to neglect, you're not going to really pay attention. You're not going to study it. Listen, if I'm a professional in some area, I need to study. I know yes, that there we on. have among us, we got doctors and nurses and praise God. We got, uh, you know, attorneys or different people that you have to keep up on the law. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You got to keep up on the, the uh, different things that are happening. And though you have certain job every so often, they'll bring new regulations in and you got to read that stuff. You can't say, well, oh, I saw it come in, but I, I, I didn't really look at it because they're going to hold you accountable for it. Amen. Mm -hmm. And so it's really understand if we neglect, if we stay careful, uh, we're not reading our word enough. We're not oh, studying. Yeah. We're not becoming professional in this walk with God. And to do that, you got to steal the word. You can't read it through one time. Yes, come on. The more you read the word, the better the word going to become plain to you and me. Praise mm -hmm. God. The more we meditate upon it day and night. Amen. That's what the scripture tells us to. Amen. So that we'll be like a tree planted by the river water. What said, if I'm not doing this, I'm not like the tree. Praise God. I can be moved. Amen. My leaves are start with them. Amen. And so he said, if we escape, I'm sorry, how shall we escape if we neglect? That is to be careless, to make light of so great of a salvation. We have a great salvation. Yes, come on here. We have a great salvation. Why don't you say that right there in, in your house? Amen. Say we, we have a great salvation. salvation. Hallelujah. Praise God. <laughs> we need to begin to declare that. We need to begin to speak that out. Praise God. Yes, That's a great salvation. Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, the Greek, uh, the Greek word there is telekutos, and it means to be vast. It means to be mighty. It means to be great. Praise God. <laughs> Why? Number one, it was spoken by Jesus the Lord. Amen. Now, I know this is Jesus, but Jesus is the second person of the Trinity. Jesus is the Lord that is not only God used to create this universe. He upholds it by the word of Come his power. Here. Praise on. God. And he was the one who spoke about this new salvation. And so if nothing else, we ought to give attention. Praise God. Hallelujah. It was confirmed by the disciples who heard it. We find the disciples come on and they're telling us this is a great salvation. They're telling us what happened to this. Praise God. And then God confirmed it with signs and wonders and various miracles with the gifts of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. uh, that's in 1 Corinthians 12. We won't go there. But first, uh, talk about every one of us has at least one gift. Yes, come on. And so God keep confirming. When you got born again, you need to understand, God, you got a gift. <laughs> amen. The gift wasn't for you. Praise Go God. The gift was for the body of Christ. And amen. No wonder if we're not seeing the grace, the authority, the anointing, <laughs> because we ain't using our gift. Praise God. We mad at folks. I ain't going to do this. Like that. And God has said, listen, you don't understand. Hallelujah. This is no longer about you. <laughs> Praise God. This is about me. Hallelujah. And bringing Hallelujah. glory and honor to my name. I gave that gift because the body needs it. 
Glory to God. Your gift ain't like nobody else's gift. Praise <laughs> God. And God is designing specifically for you, for your nature, your character, your personality. God designed that thing. And when you walk in it to release it in love, <laughs> praise God. The devil man. So the devil want you and I to get mad and get anxious and shut yeah, down. Praise God. On. Because see, now he got us over in the emotions. He got us over there in the mind instead of over in love or watch this in the spirit of God. Now, praise God. So this is going to be very, very important. Paul described, and I want you to get that, praise God. Paul described the greatness of our salvation similar to what was just done there. So Ephesians 3, 16 through 20. So Tennyson is going to read this. This is the Amplified Classic that I've asked her to read. Ephesians 3, 16 through 20. Now watch him as he describes your great salvation. Go ahead. Ephesians 3, the Amplified Classic version, mm -hmm. starting reading at verse 16 through 20. Mm-hmm. May he grant you out of the rich treasury of his glory to be strengthened and reinforced with mighty power in the inner man by the Holy Spirit himself indwelling your innermost being and personality. Now listen to what we just said. I'm going to read that again. This, this, is, this is mighty now. He, and all the amplifier do is amplifying certain things that Paul should say. Read it one more time and I'm going to... Go ahead. May he grant you out of the rich treasury of his glory to be strengthened and reinforced with mighty power. Hold, listen to this. Why Paul praying this if it ain't, you understand God put it in the book so we can hear it. You and I can be praying and ask God to strengthen us. Yes, come on. With his mighty power, not your power. <laughs> Amen. When I'm weak, then am I strong. Yes. See, when God strengthened me, it ain't my power and strength no more. It's a supernatural power and strength. That you have. Go ahead. Continue. And reinforce with mighty power in the inner man by the Holy Spirit. Look, your inner man. Not talking about this outer man. I'm talking about in your inner man who's born again. This inner man who has the very spirit. Now the Holy Ghost living in you. Your helper can come along and strengthen you and me. This is how powerful this is. And we can pray and ask him to do this. Yes. Go ahead. The Holy Spirit himself indwelling our innermost being. And personality. The Holy Spirit, God's own spirit, <laughs> lives inside the born again Glory believer. Glory to God. You carry him up every day, all right, walking around with, with that dynamite <laughs> inside of you. Praise God. Continue. Verse 17. Mm -hmm. May Christ, through your faith, actually dwell, settle down, mm -hmm. abide, make his permanent home in your hearts. Praise God. May <laughs> you be rooted deep in love. And found securely on love. See, your 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 walk and my walk with God will not work unless we walk another God path. Mm -hmm. It's listen. Every time you step outside of that, you are set up by Satan. Yeah, 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 yeah. But when you end that agape, he can listen. He has no defense. There's nothing he can do about it. And listen, that's shed abroad in our heart by the Holy Ghost. And God wants to work through that. So Satan constantly trying to get you and I to get out of love. Because he know over there, I can look, I'll wear you out. Amen. <laughs> but when you get over here in that agape, you will wear him out. out. Praise God. Continue. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Verse 18 in Ephesians 3. That you, that you may have the power and be strong to apprehend. And grasp with all the saints, mm -hmm. God devoted people, the experience of that love, mm -hmm. what is the breadth and length and height and depth of it, mm -hmm. that you may really come, come on. to know practically mm -hmm. through experience for yourselves. The love of Christ, mm -hmm. which far surpasses mere knowledge. Look at this. This love of Christ. He said, this thing is so great. That if you and I can really understand the love, it's, it, 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 this past your natural knowledge. <laughs> your natural knowledge will limit you. But when we get into the love of God and understand it, it goes past my natural yes. knowledge. In my mind, this don't make sense, but I believe it anyway. Hallelujah. Because God <laughs> said it, and I'll see God show up. And God said, hold him over here. Hold him right over here. Because when you really understand how much I love you. Glory to God. Depression won't have a place. Yeah, come on here. Listen to me. Y'all getting broke down ain't gonna have no place. Come when on here. When you really, if your baby girl over there and your baby boy really know how much they they would know how much you willing to lay down everything to make sure they have what they have. If, if it's in your possession, you're going to get it to them. Praise God. Now, think about the love of God for a moment. All right, go ahead. Praise God. That you may be filled mm -hmm. through all your being unto all the fullness of God. 
may have the richest measure mm. of the divine presence and become a body holy filled and flooded with God himself. Listen, he said, I'm, I'm praying that every part of you be energized by God. You be so full of God that it covers every part of your being. Listen to me, praise God. When that happens, it don't matter where you go. It doesn't matter where God plants you. It don't matter who you are or who you with. They're going to get affected. Yes, come you're on. so full of God. He's coming out of you. <laughs> praise God. Every part of you, you're so full of God. There ain't a whole lot of you to be working nowhere doing nothing. Hallelujah. It's Christ that showed up. They sit up there. They're trying to deal with Christ because you, you, you dead. You yes. let him go bad, Jesus. Just do whatever you need to do, Jesus. <laughs> All right, what do you want to say, Holy Ghost? You know what? Because he knows what they need to hear. You know, and I don't know what they need to hear. We see his stuff and they just shaking their head. He'll say something to them and you'll go home and next thing you know, they're all messed up. Glory, I'm telling you glory, now, glory, praise glory. God. This 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 thing is powerful. God said to your whole being is saturated glory. with Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah to God. <laughs> this is a great salvation. God has Hallelujah. brought us to be sons of God. It's amazing. Did you finish that? Ephesians 3, verse 20. Oh, Lord, here we go. Praise <laughs> God. Hallelujah. Now to him who, by in consequence of the actions of his power yes. that is at work within us, Come on. is able Listen. <laughs> to carry out hmm? his purpose and to do super abundantly, <laughs> far over, Come on. above all hmm? that we dare ask or think. Hmm? Infinitely beyond our highest prayers, mm -hmm. desires, thoughts, hopes, or dreams. To him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. And somebody say, Amen. Amen. He said, listen, <laughs> the Lord is ready to do even far above whatever you can even imagine. Glory he said, God. I'm ready to glory. do but it's according to the power. Come on, that's the King James said. He said, God said, please stop limiting me. Glory, glory. I've been limited by you. I want you to understand there's an explosive power living on the inside yes, of you. Is. And God said, even your gift and your talent, I'm not depending on your uh, talent. I'm not depending on your ability. <laughs> but if you'll let me fill you all the way through, I'll do above. <laughs> Hallelujah. It will amaze people. Is that Walter? Yes, come, come on, on here. Come on. It, you know, uh, and they're like, what in the world happening? Where did that come from? And I don't know about his family like that. My Listen, Jesus. you're looking at the wrong family. My, my, my. It's the family of God. <laughs> now, I just wanted to see. So if, uh, what he's seeing is, he said, if you all, I can understand my the Jesus. love of God, he give four dimensions, and she might have to go back. One of them is the breath, the height. The death and the width. I mean, he's saying, it, it's like, here's what he said. The, 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 the love that God had for us, the width of it, it's like you looking out there and you can't see the end of it. <laughs> the depth of it, if you look down, as far as you can see, it's still going. If you look up, it is running as high as you can see. See, he, he said the love of God has for you and I, it, the depth of it is, is, is unimaginable. He said, so I need you to tap into it because it's going to settle a lot of things. Yes, Lord God. It's going to cause Jesus to show up in you like you never. And you and I won't be sitting worried all the time about this, about that, because we don't understand the love of God. As we tell you before, sometimes our children are worried about this. And if they knew that we'll do everything in our power. Yes, come on here. I'm talking about these children in your home, they're small, and they don't understand that you would do, you, look, you move the world if you have to, and if you can. Just to make sure they're safe Come on and have what they need, and that's your love. That's your limited human love. Come on, come on. The love of God. <laughs> One writer said, "What man of love is this? What, what kind of love that we should be called the sons of God?" God took a man. He oh, took clay, God. made it up on the ground. Listen, he came and he bowed. He took the clay. He formed it himself. <laughs> Formed that body, shaped it, put everything in it. And that wasn't enough. He got right in the face of it. That close to it. And <laughs> blew. And there clay itself got animated. My, my, my. All of a sudden, what was clay and dirt turned into a human being. 
And God looked and said, you in my light. Come on here, somebody. Hallelujah, God. No, and, and so the angels, listen, listen. That's why God, what is man that you would take all this time with him? God said, I created something in my image. In my, so that these will be my sons. Hallelujah, God. If you think you love your son, listen, I, you are not the example of love. Don't take any man on earth, and I don't care how well they love their children. They cannot come close to my love for you. I created this planet for you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. My you, you getting your child a, a, a ball, some car. God said, I gave you a planet full of animals, full of... Ah, come on here. Glory to God. So we have lived it. God said, if you really get this, if you understand this, it's going to change your life. Glory to God. I gave you... Why would I give you a list of salvation? Paul said, this is a great... Right. Great, great. Salvation. All right, come on. Come on praise God. On. I don't know how far we'll get on this thing, but we're going to go as far as we can. Great. Now, so we talked about in this, the first, I want to talk about, don't limit your salvation. We have limited what has happened at the cross of Jesus, Jesus Christ. And when Jesus died to pay a full price for us. So what I want you to do now, come on, if you would, go over to the uh, book of Psalms, the 78 division. <laughs> Praise God. And we're going to start at verse 10. Oh, man, I wish I could read the whole thing, but we can't. Psalms, come on. Praise God. The 78th division. And we're going to begin there at verse 10. Praise God. Now, what I want to do is have Sister Henderson read through this. You go ahead and start. Praise King God. King James? Yeah, King James, please. All right. Psalm 78. Mm -hmm. Begin reading at verse 10, King James Version. Mm -hmm. They kept not the covenant of God. And refused to walk in his law, and forgot his works and his wonders that he has shown them. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, hold again. They forgot. They didn't take heed. Can you see this? All right, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to let you get through, and then I go ahead. Yeah. Marvelous things did he in the sight of their fathers, mm -hmm. in the land of Egypt, in the field of Zoe. He divided the sea. He caused them to pass through. My goodness. And he made the waters to stand as a heap. Come on. In the daytime also he led them with a cloud. Oh, Jesus. And all the night with a light of fire. Hallelujah. He clave the rocks in the wilderness and gave them drink as out of the great depth. Hallelujah. He brought streams also out of the rock and caused waters to run down like rivers. Praise God. And they sinned yet more against him. By provoking the Most High in the wilderness. And they tempted God in their heart by asking meat for their lust. Come on. Yea, they spake against God. They said, can God furnish a table in the wilderness? Look at him. Behold, he smote the rock that the waters gushed out and the streams overflowed. Can he give bread also? Listen, challenging God. Come on. Can he provide flesh for his people? Therefore, the Lord heard this and was wroth. So a fire was kindled against Jacob, and anger also came up against Israel. Come on. Because they believed not in God. Oh, my. And trusted not in his salvation. My God. Though he had commanded the clouds from above, and opened the doors of heaven, and had rained down manna upon them to eat, and had given them of the corn of heaven. Mm -hmm. Man did eat angels' food. He sent them meat to be full. Now, it, li listen to all. <laughs> God is, is like an attorney here. He, he, he's stating his case. I want to show you why I had to go and deal with him. And what he, he, he tells me, he said, listen. Not only did I come through Egypt and show miracle after miracle, got them delivered out of there, praise God. But he goes on to say that they wouldn't even keep my covenant. And I did some marvelous thing before them. He, first of all, when he got to the Red Sea, who had ever heard of such a thing? <laughs> that the sea opened up and men walked through on dry ground. Praise God. And then... It went on, and, and in the daytime, I led them by Come on. A, a cloud. Come on. <laughs> if, if they were concerned, all they had to do was look up. Jeez. Glory to God. 
And if they looked up, they knew I was there. Oh. Hallelujah. What well, no reason to be lost if you just look up. Yes, come Praise on. Praise God. Ain't no reason to be lost. Praise <laughs> God. At night, I gave them a pillar of fire. Yes, come on. Praise God. So they know I was there. Hallelujah. Now, he said, but, but not only that, when they needed water and they couldn't find out, I caused water to come out of a rock. Glory. Now, you have to understand, at the most conservative number, there was at least three million people in the wilderness at this time. Can you imagine how much water? That's like the city of Chicago. Every day they had to have water. That's not even counting all their animals. All of them had animals. They had cows and sheep, and they had to have sacrifices made every day. How would you like to have provide water for three million people? And then their animals. And they needed water every day. And God said, if that wasn't enough, I opened heaven and caused manna to come down out of heaven. <laughs> These folk ate angels' food. And they come, I'm tired of this stuff. Just, just, oh, we got this manna out here. They come study complaining. Now, he said something very interesting there, and I want to just get into this. God just goes on and he enumerates all the things he's done. I wonder what God said all he's done for you. Yeah, and tell me, Lord. Huh? All he's done, how he's kept us and provided for us. And gave us the food that we need Glory to go to the cold on our back. Come on yes, now. Thank you, Lord. All of this stuff he's done for you. He's talking about, he said, listen, these folk, they shoes didn't even get old. <laughs> Come on now. I took care of these folk. Their clothes would fall off. Listen, I, wherever they went, Glory. I took care of them. They studied complaining. <laughs> because they didn't hold and think about what I have done. Now, I, I want to just kind of jump into that and kind of deal with that just for a minute. Praise God. Uh, first of all. He said that they didn't trust in his salvation. I, they, they, they would not trust in the salvation that I gave to them. Oui. See, they didn't understand it. Watch this. Everything that happened, the water coming out of the rock, me giving them food, me taking care of them, going through the rest, that was part of their salvation. Glory to God. The salvation didn't just save them so they can come out of Egypt save you just so you wouldn't go to hell we're going to look at this as we go in the next few weeks all of these other things is included in your salvation yes, thank you, Lord. watch this now the word salvation here and it's going to sound very familiar to you is the word Yeshua <laughs> the word salvation in the Hebrew is Yeshua and it means saved it means deliverance it means aid it means victory it means prosperity it means health. Health. It means health. It means welfare. Yeshua, of course, you remember the name. That's the same name for Jesus. Yeah, Amen. come on. Yeshua. Uh, and this is the shortened version of the word Yahashua, which is Joshua we call the Old Testament. Amen? But that's what the name means. It's no wonder his name is Yeshua. And, <laughs> and we get the word Jesus from the Latin and it come all of that. But it's still the same. It means save and deliverance. It means health. It means healing. It means wholeness. It means wellness. It means all of them. Yes, thank you, Lord. God wasn't just giving them water and food and clothing, doing all that because they were his children. He was. But when he saved them, what he said is, I've taken ownership. <laughs> it's my responsibility to <laughs> take care of you. Come on here. When you gave birth to that baby, now you are saying everything yes, you need is on. my responsibility Listen, to take on. care of you. <laughs> Stop limiting what salvation is. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Are you hearing this? Yes, sir. All right. Praise God. Hallelujah. So all of the different victories was included in their salvation. Again, their welfare, their clothing, uh, God taking care of them, God giving them water, God defeating their enemies. God said, listen, all of that is included in your salvation. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. God was angry because, verse 22 said, they believe not in God. God said, after all I've done for you. Yeah. You still questioning me? Yeah. You still question what I even care? He said they didn't believe in me. Unbelief is sin, folks. Unbelief is sin. Jude one and five said, "I will therefore put you in remembrance, though you once knew this, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believed not." My 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 my. <laughs> Unbelief is sin. Yes, it is. Amen. Unbelief means I don't believe you. I don't believe you, God. 
And God is saying, so you calling me a liar? Really? Are you saying that I'm a liar? I told you that's Satan. And so God has doesn't have to prove himself to us, but he's done it to yes. you and me over and over Hallelujah. again. And the reason that we let this stuff slip, because we don't keep rehearsing the word of God. We don't stay in the word of God, because faith come by hearing, hearing and hearing by the, the word, word of, God. of God. And so Hallelujah. in order to keep our faith strong, we, we got to stay got in to this hear. word. And what happens is we just going by daily things. We're spending more time doing other things, whether it's watching television, reading somebody else's book, or, uh, you know, on Facebook, or uh, all that, all this stuff, all the time. And, and sometimes we're doing it all. Amen. Every one of those, television, all that. And listen, all of us are gifted. Let, let's yeah, not, let's don't on. try to pretend like, you know. And God is saying, please understand, this is your life. Yes, it is. Not those other things we have to do, and we can do those things. It's not. But how much time are you giving daily to the Word? And I already told you the Word of God is food for you. Yes, it is. And so that's going to be very, very important. Hallelujah. This is not the fine fault. But God is saying, you, you've been, you're blaming me for something, and you've limited my salvation. Look at it, verse 22. They didn't trust in his salvation. Now, Sister you go down to that same chapter. And go down to verse 41 and verse 42. Praise God. And in Psalm 78 mm -hmm. and verses 41 through 42. Yes. And the word reads, Yea, they turned back and tempted God and limit the Holy One of Israel. They remembered not his hand, nor the day when he delivered them from the enemy. Now listen to this. It said they turned back. And other, see, what turning back means, I was thought I was rejoice, I was happy in the Lord. Pray God, you know, we, I got you out of Egypt. Pray God, we dancing. Huh? They had the timbrels. They go, look, oh, look, they wearing it out, man. Praise God. Make your own music. You know what They're doing it. The music was gone. And now, all of a sudden, because stuff started getting tough, and God has to develop our faith. God has to teach us that he's there. Not that we feel him, we know it. Because our heart knows what his word is yes, saying. See, you, again, Lord. watch this. We, we, we didn't take heed. We don't keep taking heed to his word. We don't keep feeding our faith. And so all of a sudden, they're not dancing anymore. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, it's wonderful because the psalmist said, amen, that the praises of the Lord will continually be in my mouth. In my mouth. Glory I will God. say of the Lord. Amen. <laughs> amen. He said, I'm going to make my boast in God. You And so... They are not there. Stuff got rough instead of rejoicing in God. They, they're living on their emotions and feelings. Praise God. They limited God. God said, you limit me. I would have done more. But you limit me. It's not that I couldn't. Let's go back to what we read before. He said that God is able to do abundantly above all that we can ask or think. God says that the limit is not on me. You are limiting me. Yes. I gave you a great salvation. Hallelujah. Think about the Son of God. God Himself Glory. came down to die on that cross. God Himself shed His blood for you and me. God Himself. God said, I'm not giving you a list of salvation. Yes. I'm giving you a great salvation. Hallelujah. Praise God Hallelujah. forevermore. Amen. So, the cross is the basis for God's total provision. For every believer, read let Romans 8, 31 to 32. If you read that, Sister Henderson, for me, Romans 8, 31 to 32. The cross is the basis for God's total provision for every believer. Total provision. <laughs> All right, if you would. Romans 8, began reading at 31, reading through 32. Mm -hmm. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us. Come on. Who can be against us? Mm -hmm. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. Mm -hmm. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Read that again, the last part. <laughs> now, li listen to the word. We've read it. We can quote it. But I want you to hear what Paul just said. Well, I believe it's 32 again. Verse 32, Romans 8. Mm -hmm. He that spared not his own son. If God did not spare. Come on here. God looked and he said, no, I'm sending the best I got. I'm sending my own son. He don't deserve what he's about to get in service. But I need you to know how important you are to oh, me. How much I want you a part of my family. 
I'm sending heaven's best. Glory. I'm sending my own son. I'm sending God down for you. If I didn't spare Jesus, continue. But delivered him up for us all. I delivered him up to get you free. Come on. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? What make you think if I didn't hold him that I wouldn't give freely yes. whatever it takes Glory for your victory? God. Glory. Whatever it would take. If Why don't you meditate on that? If God didn't withhold his very son, Glory. then no good thing. No good thing. Glory Hallelujah. to God. Hallelujah. Yes. I mean, we need to just take a while and just Hallelujah. meditate on that. Just, just let that go over that spirit over and over. I because so that God, you will know God ain't holding yes. nothing back to you. He gave you a great salvation. And he said, you are limiting me because of this situation. But faith is beyond what you can ask to think. Glory. Glory to God. He said, if I didn't, one more time, read that one more time. Yes, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah to God. Truth. Yes. He that spared not his own son. Come on. But delivered him up for us all. My God. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Amen. Freely give. God said, I ain't holding back. So, I, 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 how can, if I didn't do that, how are you judging me? What is it that, that you didn't get about that? <laughs> Do you know how important you are to me and how much Lord. I really love you? Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah to God. Everything that we will ever need in our lives, spiritual, emotional, or physical, is provided by the cross. My, my. It's provided by people don't want to preach the cross. We want to talk about, we want to get in this 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 psychology and, and, and tell you all the things, get you all listen, the power was in the cross yes, of Jesus. Come on here. That's where the victory was won. When he when he said it is finished, he meant it. Yes, Praise Lord God. Lord. Hallelujah. The devil was defeated. Amen. Praise God. He made an open show of him. He said, Give me the keys of death. <laughs> The vic and so as long as Satan can make us think that God don't care, yeah, yeah, that God yeah. is holding out on us, that God, listen, he, if he can hold us over in our emotions and those thoughts instead of the thoughts of faith, he'll defeat us every time. Yes, he will. But if we can hold him on, say, so no, that cross, and I want to take a few weeks just to talk about this, show us what was provided for yes, us. Yes, come on here. Hallelujah. No wonder the old saint knew the son at the cross, <laughs> at the cross. <laughs> Amen. Well, I first. Well, I first. <laughs> come on. And the burdens of my heart brought <laughs> away. It was there <laughs> by faith. <laughs> Elbow side. I received my sight. <laughs> oh, by the heart. Hey, Lord God. Hallelujah. Woo. Hallelujah. <laughs> and now I'm happy. All day. All day. Lord, listen. <laughs> When we go back there, when we see it, praise God, something going to rise up to us. Hallelujah. I'm telling you. Hallelujah. Yeah, we, we want to talk about it. Folks. We're talking all this other stuff, and it just, uh, it just mental acrobats. Ah, thank you, Jesus. But the Lord truth will make you free. Hallelujah to God. <laughs> that truth will make you free. Jesus had provided, when he died on that, it's a complete salvation. It is a total salvation. It is a total deliverance. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. So I want us to see it. John 15, 7 says, if you abide in me, and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will, and it shall be done. Now, now, now notice he said, if my words, see, God's going to do anything contrary to his word. But if you don't know what the word provides for you, and I don't know what the word yeah, provides for yeah. me, I don't even know how to ask right for it. That is good. This is why he's saying, listen, we got to live in this thing because, see, this is our instruction manual. <laughs> Come on now. Praise God. Amen. It, it, it's not like somebody could give you, uh, you know, sometimes we, we don't understand that, you know, our children see the car, and if we can go get a license for the car, I think I can drive. I mean, drive, driving going to take you some years of experience. <laughs> Come on now. Praise God. And so sometimes they ain't never drove with an 18-wheeler coming by them, and he way out of speed, and when he come, and push your car over, and you got to remain calm. They think it's just getting behind the steering wheel. Come on now. It's going to be a situation. Yeah. There's sometimes people be coming. You got to know when to slow down. You have to do things. And so it takes time to learn to drive. But thank God for the instruction. 
Second Corinthians 1 and 20 said, For all the promises of God yay. in him are yea, <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. and in him, amen. <laughs> so be it unto the glory of God by us. All the promises of God mm -hmm. in Jesus Christ. Well, why in Jesus Christ? Because when he died, he paid the price for me to have a right standing with God. When there was an exchange took place, I don't want to get into that, but there was an exchange took place. And, and we're going to see salvation. There was a lot of different exchanges. But God gave me righteousness for my filthy rags. Thank you, Lord. And so my having a right standing before God mm -hmm. allows me to receive the blessing and the promises and the benefits of God. Not nothing I earn to do. And the devil will wear you and I, I out trying to make us think I ain't good enough. You know, I ain't do that. Hey. I ain't pray. You know. Listen, your righteousness is secure in Christ. Thank you, Lord. You Thank have you. a right standing. Thank Praise God. God. Hallelujah now. Now, but we need to understand sin will not allow me to have confidence toward God. I just need to confess it. And we'll, I don't want to get into all that. But I'm trying to show you something. God gave you a right standing. And so when I know what that covenant says is mine, and I don't have to feel like I'm earning it, I ain't good enough for it. Listen, God said, I sent Jesus so you'll be good enough for it. You can get it. Hallelujah. If you abide in me, see, that, that becomes the key. And abiding don't mean we don't make mistakes or we don't right. get stuff wrong. It means that we confess it. We turn from it by God's grace and his help. It, you still in good. You, you good? So it's going to be important. All right? Praise God. All the promises. Matthew 21, 22 said, And all things whatsoever you shall ask in prayer. Yeah. Wait a minute. Believing. Believing you shall receive. Ah, thank you, Lord. Glory. This is a great salvation. This is a great salvation. Praise God. Matthew 7 and 7 said, Ask, and it might be it given shall. to you. It shall be given unto you. See, and you shall find shall. it. Knock, and it shall be shall. given. I don't know. I've been praying and stuff, and then, you know, I'm trying to get it. You know, and I, I don't know what's going on. See, you, you need to go back to this. Say, Lord, you say it. You say it, Lord God. This is your word. You said, pray. If I'll ask, it'll be given unto me. I'm not asking anything that's contrary to your word. I don't care what I see, what I feel like. God, your word is truth to me. Hallelujah. Your word is my shield and my buckler. Yeah, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's the shield to fight off every lie and the devil not telling me I'm not going to get it. Yeah. When that thought come in my mind, said, no, 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 pray. It shall be given. Yeah. Ha, da, da, so I'm just saying <laughs> to you, praise God. Hallelujah. First John 5, 14 and 15 said, and this is the confidence Glory to God. that we have in him. That if we ask anything, anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we no. know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. No glory. Our position in Christ is not children that are seeking something that we don't have. But we are those who already receive and are defending our benefits. Whee! Let me say to you one more time. <laughs> our position in Christ is not children that are seeking something that we don't have. If God said I have it, then it's already mine. But I, we are those who are have already received and are defending our benefits. God said you got it. <laughs> but but this is going on. But this is going on. Then that's the devil trying to come steal it. Defend it. Stand with the word of God. Declare Amen. what I say. Stand on it. Hallelujah. Amen. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. It's the evidence yes. of things not seen. I know you don't see it. I know it looks like, and I know there's other things going on. But I need to grow your faith. Stand in faith Glory now. To God. What I declare. The devil is coming to try to take it. I already said it's yours. All right, praise God. Where were we at? Oh, my God. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, Lord, help me. Praise God. Psalm 103, 1 and 5 said, what did it say? Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, oh, my soul. <laughs> and all that's within me, do what? Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, oh, my soul, and do what? <laughs> Forget not all his benefits. He said the benefits, you already got them. They're yours. What are you talking about? You already got it. We're asking God for something we already have. And we're waiting on it to come. And God said, you can't get it God, like that. Glory. It's a benefit. It's yes, yours. It now defend it. Hallelujah. Watch this. So. Who forgiveth all thy what? Iniquity. See, that qualifies <laughs> you for the benefits. You're qualified now because all your sin has been forgiven. Hallelujah. Jesus paid the price. 
You have a right standing with God. Now you qualify for the benefit. Well, what's the next thing he said? He healed me. He healed us of all, all diseases. <laughs> Every one of In them. God's mind, you already healed. You ain't trying to. You waiting on healing. God said it's yours. Yes, come on. Now defend it. Pray God. Rebuke the devil. Yes. Stand on the word of God. Declare it. Speak it out. Hallelujah. Every time he tell you, you ain't got it, look at your body. Glory. You said, God. no, no, no. It is not here, but it's by, not here, I'm sorry, but it's by faith. Yes. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because, and that's where we're going to have to start. And you're going to have to continue. Sometimes stay it will be a, a battle all day long. But you stay with God's word because God cannot lie. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. First Peter 2, 24 says, who himself <laughs> bear our sins in his own body on the tree. Well, that yes. qualifies me. Come on here. Who himself bear our sin in his own body on the tree, that we being dead yes. to sin. Why? Because it's been paid for. Alive unto righteousness by his strife ye he were healed. healed. And so God mind is already. You know what he just said? You're already hey. healed. <laughs> healing is your, you, you're already healed. It's the devil coming to steal your healing. Now, get in the word. And go to, anyway, praise God. <laughs> Lord, I, I, I can't get all of this. So let me just, I'm trying to get through Ephesians 1 and 3. Sister Henry, would you get Ephesians 1 and 3 and read that and then we'll just kind of summarize. I, I can't get through all of this. Glory Ephesians, to God. Ephesians, put your eyes on this one. Ephesians 1 and 3 says, mm -hmm. Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Come on. Who has blessed who us. Who has what? Who has blessed us. Already? Already blessed us. Who has? Listen, it's, it's a past tense. Lord, would you bless me? You already blessed. Who has blessed us. Wait with a minute. All spiritual blessings, with all? With all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. <laughs> See, in God's mind, it's already done. It's already done. That's why Jesus is finished. <laughs> it's done. I'm going to sit down now. Glory to God. He's our high priest. Amen. Under the law, under the, the high priest went in there uh, only with once a year. And even when he went in, guess what? He never sat down. My, my, my. He had to stand up, do whatever he did and come out there. Jesus, the only reason you, Jesus sit down because he said it's finished. We're done. It's complete. The process is, <laughs> listen, I've secured the victory. You understand? Stop limiting your salvations. I got to stop limiting mine. Now, I'm preaching this, but God, this is how he dealt with me. And so I'm sharing it with you, what God's telling me. Praise God. He said, Walter Henderson III, you need to get on it. Yes, yeah, stay on it. You need to get on that word and stay on it. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. We are coming from a battle that has already been won. Glory, glory. We're coming from a battle that's already been won by Lord Jesus. And we, as his occupying forces, are enforcing his conquest. <laughs> Romans 8.37 said this, yet, and I'm reading from the Amplified Classes, yet amid all these things we are more than conquerors and gain a surpassing victory through him who loved us. Glory. The battle's already been fought. Yes. Jesus won. He's the conqueror. He won the battle for us and gave it to us, this victory. And now we are the occupying force. Yes, we are. Hallelujah. We are more than a conqueror. He was a conqueror. He gave the victory, so we're more than conquerors. So we're coming from a battle that's already been fought. The victory has already been won. Hallelujah to God. Praise God. And that's why Jesus said it's done. It's finished. Praise God. Now you are the occupying for enforce the victory. Enforce it. In the military, when our army goes in and wins, they leave an occupying force there to enforce the victory. Praise God. This cross... The cross is the basis of Satan's total defeat by Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection. I'm just going to reference it. I don't have time to go there, but read Ephesians 1. Sister, you don't have to read it. Ephesians 1, 20 through 23, and in Ephesians 2, 5 through 6. Let me give it to you again. Ephesians 1, write it down, 20 through 23, and Ephesians 2, 5 through 6. That is, is I'm telling you right now, the cross is the basis of the defeat. of, And so, finally... He will never leave us or forsake us. I believe that. Hebrews 13, 5 through 6 says this. Let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things that you have. For he has said, I will never leave thee. Glory, glory. Nor forsake thee. So that we may boldly yeah, say, the Lord is my helper. Glory. And I will not fear what man you, Lord God. shall do unto me. He will never leave you. 
I believe he that. will never leave me. He will never forsake you and me. Cool. The devil going to try to make us think he will. But we, he, he, he said that. He said, I'll never leave you. Never. And, I, and I'll never forsake you. Let's hold on to that word today. Amen. Mm -hmm. I've talked to you today about a great salvation. Today we said, don't limit your salvation. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, God bless you. Praise God. <laughs> Listen, if you've never been born again, you miss out on a great salvation. Yes, come on here. And I believe that day would be the right day for you to make Jesus the Lord Thank of your you, life. Jesus. Don't go another day without him. Satan is out to destroy you. And you need a God on your side. And I can mm -hmm. tell you from personal experience, you won't find a better God than this. Holy. He brought you into this planet because he has purpose and plan for your life. Don't go another day without him. You need to discover Jesus. So I want to pray for you who maybe listen to this message today and you've never made Jesus the Lord of your life. I want to talk to that backslider. Glory. I want to talk to the one who's walked away and you think God doesn't love you no more because you messed up and your father is saying to you, I love you. Please come home. Today would be the day. Let me just pray for you now. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for these men and women, young men and women. Lord, those who never made Jesus the Lord of life, you said no man can come to the Father except he draw them. Father, would you draw them today to yourself? Would you help them to open, the, open their eyes so they can see? I come against the spirit of darkness yes. that has blinded their eyes lest they should see the light of this glorious gospel. Open their understanding now in the name of Jesus that they will see what has been hidden and they will come to the fountain of life to receive what you've given for them. Change their hearts and minds this very day. I pray in Jesus' Thank name. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, if you're ready, and I believe you are, now is the day. Today is the day of salvation. Do it now in the name of Jesus. I plead with you. I beseech you. Yeah. I beg of you. Know how God is dealing with your heart now. I want to pray for you and lead you in a prayer. That if you are meaning with all of your heart, your life will be changed and you'll never be the same. Let me pray with, for, with you. I pray with you now. Let me lead you in a prayer. Please repeat after me. Father, I'm so sorry for my sins. I would agree with you that I am a sinner. That I'm lost. And that I need a savior. So, I believe that Jesus is the Son of God, that he died on the cross and paid the full penalty for all of my sin. And I believe that right now, if I will invite him into my heart to make him the Savior yes. and Lord of my yes. life, yes. Lord God. that he will do it right yeah, now yeah, you will go. and that I will be changed forever. So, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Yes, thank you, Lord. Change my life. Change my way of thinking now. I invite you. And I thank you for coming thank into my Lord. heart. I thank you for changing my life right now in Jesus' name. Please say amen. Amen, amen means so be. <laughs> Now, if you've done that, I want to welcome you yes, to the family of God. I want to thank God for you today. You're in the family. Hallelujah. You'll never be the same again. And I declare it to you. I declare it over your life now in Jesus' powerful name. Now, Sister Henry's going to give you some more instruction. Please follow it. And I'm telling you, you're about to go on a journey that's going to be wonderful. You know, Pastor, um, I sense that there is a young person right now mm -hmm. that's what we would call in a gap. Mm -hmm. There's a ditch on one side and mm -hmm. it looked like green grass on the other side. Mm -hmm. And you need to now, uh, t you're tossed between two opinions. Come on. Uh, you, you need to right now make a decision. Hallelujah. To say yes to Jesus. Yes. Uh, no no going back. Come on. No, no going back Come to, on. to whatever it is. Praise and it's a young person. I'm, yes. I'm talking about Praise. a young person. Hallelujah. And I declare right now, Father, in the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. give them no rest. Hallelujah. Till they come to Glory the saving to knowledge Glory of Jesus God. Christ. Glory I to thank God. you and I give you praise yes. for your salvation praise. now. In Jesus', Jesus name. Name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. 
Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Bless you, Father. We worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Glory. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. All Very right. Good. Mm -hmm. um. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you, Father. Mm -hmm. I, I uh, phone number, area code 414 873 8687. Praise uh, God. Thank if you, Lord. have given your life to the Lord today, uh, I challenge you to reach out to us mm -hmm. uh, at that number, 414-873-8687. Yes. We will get back to you on our next day inside of the office. Mm -hmm. And then also you can send an email over to info, I-N-F-O, at BerenFamilyWorshipCenter.org. Praise uh, We want to get some material into your hands. Yes, we do. To help Praise you God. in this Hallelujah. long journey that you just embarked upon. We worship And I truly believe uh, by the spirit of the living God that there is many today that's making a decision to come to the Lord for the first time. Mm -hmm. Amen. There are some that's sitting uh, by, over on that side, mm -hmm. uh, also that's watching this. Whenever you're watching it, mm -hmm. I believe that you are backslidden and that you're coming on back. Praise Amen. Yes. Uh, I just sense that the spirit of the living God today mm -hmm. is doing a drawing. Mm -hmm. And I say, God, draw them in. Draw Praise them God. into I, the kingdom. Yes. I'm not talking about draw them to Berean. Mm -hmm. Draw them to the kingdom of a true and a living God. And, Father, we just say thank you today. Thank you, Lord God. So did I give the info at Berean Family Worship Center? Um, Amen. <laughs> Info. Amen. At Berean Family Worship Center dot org, mm -hmm. and we want to get the material into your hand, mm -hmm. and we want to commit to praying with and for you. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Okay. Oh, on. all right. We're gonna oh, we're gonna do the uh, birthdays. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Praise God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Saints, I say you need to begin to pray. There's some folks at a crossroad right now. Yes. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some folks at a crossroad. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. And by the way, Charles, today is your day. Your name is Charles. And you're viewing this, and God is speaking directly to you. Hallelujah. In fact, you needed me to call your name. Yeah. For whatever reason, your name is Charles. And God's talking to you today. And he's loved you so much that he yeah, gave it to Jesus. me to call your name out because he wanted you to know. Praise God. Anyway, go ahead, sister. Yes, thank you, Lord God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. All right, we're going to do the birthdays, I believe. Yeah. I want to start out with uh, one that I completely uh, forgot, over overlooked, omitted. Mm -hmm. Please forgive me. I've already asked them to forgive me. Mm -hmm. uh, my grandson, our grandson, amen. amen. Come on, Jamari Williams. Praise Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. On the 17th of July, turn yeah. the whole 18. 18 of them. How can we forget your 18? Praise 18. God. And I already know you just celebrated. Amen. I should go and celebrate throughout the weekend. Amen. Amen. Uh, we love you. Amen. Praise we give God. our praise amen. and glory for you. Amen. And then we're going to push in now to the 19th mm -hmm. and going to run through the 25th of July for birthdays. All right. Great. Starting God. out with today, mm -hmm. Adonijah Bolden Morrell. Come on here. Bless you. Adonijah, come on here. Bless you. We honor Praise the Lord God. for you. I just love your name. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Uh, we we recognize that today you are turning 14. We give God praise glory and God. glory. My Lord is God. That's what your name means. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. What a tremendous blessing to mm -hmm. have a name as such. Amen. Mm -hmm. And then on the 20th, let me give my handkerchief out, Mother Cynthia Patterson uh, Williams. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, Mother. Bless you. Glory to God. I say celebrate. Yeah. All them children, go on over there and celebrate with Praise her. Amen. God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And then on the 23rd, mm -hmm. it would be Amaya Simpson. What? <laughs> what? A whole 14. Come on, y'all. Give it up for Amaya. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Great. Hallelujah. It looks like she was just two just a day ago. Come on. Amen. Mm -hmm. And then, also on the 24th, we have Sister Felicia David. Wow. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. 
Oh, my goodness. Come on, y'all. Give it up. Praise God. Glory to God. Celebrate, God. I said celebrate, Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And then on the 25th, we have Sister Alicia Oliver. Come on. Give it up, my Lord. (laughs) Bless you. Praise God. Bag up on it. Praise God. Hallelujah. So we honor the Lord for all of the birthdays. Amen, amen, we, amen, amen. We amen. do indeed pray that you celebrate Glory to March, God. but you also celebrate Saints. Yes. We give God praise and glory for each and every one of you. Uh, we, we challenge you to be praying for us. We mm-hmm. believe that God has given us something to do, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, we want to do it. Amen. Mm-hmm. And we believe that God has said for us to do it. And so if you just keep praying for us that we get the complete a confirmation of what God has called us to do on this Facebook live stream. Hallelujah. Uh, for those that uh, are standing in need of healing and restoration and mm-hmm. holiness. Mm-hmm. The word of God has already said that he sent his word to heal. Mm-hmm. Amen. Mm-hmm. We receive that word. Amen. Amen. Praise All God. right, Pastor. That's it? Yeah, I think it is. All right. Hallelujah. Well, blessing again will be right here. Again on Wednesday evening yes. at seven, and again we're doing group study and uh, praise God. We're dealing with the fruits of the Spirit, and that is really Christ in me. Mm. Those fruits are about allowing Christ to live through us, and so praise God. Let's get in that because that's walking in that love, and we'll be able to see God manifest itself in a greater way. And you can go right to the website right mm. now and, mm. and uh, download those study notes. Yes, and that is to Berean Family Worship Center. Praise God, Hallelujah. So again, to www.BereanFamilyWorshipCenter.org mm-hmm. on the inspirational corner. You can go right there and download the study notes so that when you come Wednesday at 7 o'clock mm-hmm. on live stream, you'll be ready with the Word of God and your notes right in front of you. If you have any questions, any comments, any questions that you want Pastor to answer on Wednesday night, send them over to info, Praise God. I-N-F-O, mm-hmm. at Berean Family Worship Center, and we will endeavor to try to get those answered uh, for you. Tuesday morning, mm-hmm. 5 a.m. early prayer. Mm-hmm. We're going to be meeting from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. Praying for our families, mm-hmm. our own homes. Amen. Praise God. And then again next Sunday, right here. All right. 10 a.m. for live stream for Facebook. All right. Right hand up. Praise God. Amen. Glory to God. May the Lord bless thee yes. and keep thee. May the Lord make his face to shine upon thee. Hallelujah. And to be gracious unto thee. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Hallelujah. May he teach you and me how not to limit such a great salvation. May the Holy Spirit begin to unfold more and more to you and me what Jesus did on that cross. We ask this in Jesus' powerful name. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Good to see you. We love you. We love you. Praise God. Have a great day. Yes. Hallelujah.